Well, I received another GoDaddy Domains renewal notice in my email, so I thought I'd shoot a video of how I transfer before my domain renews to a lower cost domain provider, which doesn't have any markup, Cloudflare. So let's take a look at my screen and this email. My domains are about to renew from GoDaddy. Here's one that's a .com domain that's gonna renew at $19.99 a year. Now, if I go over to my Cloudflare account under domain registration and uh, register domains, you can see that if I do a certain, you know, anything.com, whether it's available or not, it's only $9.15 per year for a .com domain at Cloudflare because they're known with their new domain registration system for not marking up or uh, upcharging the user for the domain registration. They just charge you what it costs them with Internet the domain, Internic the domain registration authority. And so here's what I do when I get a domain renewal from another provider that's a higher cost. Before it renews, I go and I go in and manage my domains. I look and try to find that one that is about to renew. So if in GoDaddy, you can click for expiration date. If I just click the name of this domain, I have to do a few things to get it transferred. I'm transferring the ownership of the domain to a different provider. Even though that's me, it is a transfer of ownership because it's a different provider. And so I'm gonna go down to the settings in this domain name in the original registrar down here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the auto renew. Um, so you know what I'm gonna do is go back up and look at all my domains. And it says expiration and it used to say auto renew on, is it right here? Ah, here's auto renew. Just click that to turn off auto renew. That way it can give me a little bit of time in case this transfer takes a little longer. My experience is with GoDaddy, it only takes a few minutes and Cloudflare is very fast as well. So now I don't have it set for auto renew. I can also unlock the domain. This domain lock is on. I can do that here or under the domain down at the bottom, there is a toggle uh, switch where you can edit first of all, and then you can turn the domain locking off. You do need to do that to authorize any transfer of ownership or anything like that. So yes, I consent to unlock the domain. Continue. Uh, let's see, it says there's an error. That might be because it's still processing my previous request to turn off the auto renew. Let's just try once again. Continue, ah, it's giving me that error. So I'll pause the video here and pause for a quick second and uh, see if I can get this to complete and then I'll start again. Okay, I did get that success uh, message for clicking it here, domain lock is now off. And so now I'm gonna go into the domain itself and I wanna go down to uh, the managing additional settings here. And here on at GoDaddy, we want to transfer the domain away from GoDaddy. And so by doing that, um, I'm going to continue with transfer. Of course, here they're trying to talk me into keeping it. Uh, but I know I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click continue with transfer. And uh, it'll open up a screen where it's generated an authorization code. Now, I also received an email with this authorization code. But... I want to click here to see the authorization code and copy it because I'm gonna put this into my Cloudflare account to approve the connection between the two providers. So now that I've copied that to Clipboard, I can go into Cloudflare. And one thing that you need to have activated is the domain as one of your websites here in Cloudflare. Now I'm not sure, yeah, I don't have this domain yet active as the DNS uh, provider in Cloudflare. So I do need to add it as a site. I do want to remember that that's correct. I want to remember that I have that authorization code on my clipboard right now. now I can go back into my email and I have likely been able to 
uh, have that authorization code there, or I can find the authorization code again inside my GoDaddy account. But one thing I might do just because I know I have something on the clipboard, just opened Notepad in Windows. You can use text edit if you're on a Mac and paste the code. So I'm gonna set this up as a free DNS provider with Cloudflare. And now it's scanning for existing DNS records. This isn't really pointed anywhere. It's just at a holding page at GoDaddy. So it just detected whatever DNS records are already there, which is fine. And I'll click continue. And now I need to point the name servers to these Cloudflare name servers that it's giving me. And so that's why I put the authorization code on a notepad doc so I could get it later because I need to copy these name servers and add them over to my domain right here. So then in the domain settings down here, uh, it's under manage DNS. And right now we'll find that the name servers are pointed to this domaincontrol.com name server, which is the GoDaddy one. So I wanna change the name servers. I wanna enter my own name servers. And this is where I'm gonna paste the ones that Cloudflare gives me. First Marty and then Nora. These might be different for you depending on your region of the world. Um, yes, I consent to change the name servers because this can change where your website is pointing. But when you switch this over using Cloudflare, all it does is use the existing DNS records. And so it won't change where your website's pointing at all when you change your DNS provider from your domain registrar over to Cloudflare like this. So now that I've done that, it only takes a couple of minutes usually for the name server change to happen between GoDaddy and then Cloudflare to recognize it. So I'm gonna click done, check name servers. And then I could click finish later. Now I'm on the overview page here. If I come back here and just refresh the page, sometimes it'll say that it's ready. If it, if it continues to give me these instructions, complete your name server setup, I'll need to wait, wait a few more minutes until that name server change has been made at GoDaddy. So I'll pause the video again and uh, let that happen and then I'll be back in just a few minutes. Now, one thing you can do on this overview page at Cloudflare, if you've waited a little while and you'd like them to go ahead and check again, you can click this check name servers button. Now then that, they'll tell you they're checking the name servers. Please wait a few hours for an update. They won't just continue to offer you that button all the time so you can re-click it, but this might hurry them along to go and check if those name servers are pointed yet. So what happens if I refresh the page? Looks like it's still not quite there yet. So I'll pause this video again and come back in a few minutes and check my email and also see whether this is the uh, different looking page when the name servers have been pointed. Okay, here's a copy of the email that I received from Cloudflare status active just uh, less than a minute after I paused the video. And so if we go back to the Cloudflare page, the overview page of this domain and refresh the page, we should see the new message that says, great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. The DNS records that are present are there, and we can see the name servers that we're using over at GoDaddy. Now, I do have that authorization code to enter now. So I can go back uh, out of the uh, website screen itself into the major account page. And if I look under domain registration to uh, transfer domains, it will look at all the domains I have in my Cloudflare account and tell me which ones might avail be available to transfer because they're hosted or registered, I should say, somewhere else. So here's the two that I have that it recognizes. I'm just going to leave this one that I'm working with today selected. And the wholesale cost is actually going to be $8.97 plus 18 cents. So $9.15 a year instead of that $19.99 or $95 that GoDaddy wanted to charge me. So I'll just click confirm domains. And so now I need to enter those that authorization code. So I'll go back to the notepad document, copy with control C, and I'm gonna paste it right here. It gives me a little green check mark and I can click confirm and proceed. So I'm gonna use all my same data for the contact information, click confirm and finalize transfer here in my Cloudflare account. 
And now it's another waiting game. Usually it takes, um, again, only a few minutes, five to 10 minutes for the transfer to happen and for a notification to come through from GoDaddy in my email. There is one more step. I need to go back to GoDaddy and approve this transfer once GoDaddy hears about it from Cloudflare. And so again, I'm waiting now for an email and I'm just looking over here on the right hand side uh, over to uh, my email. It's a, I do have two emails from Cloudflare. It says domain uh, transfer requested and it says uh, they've successfully charged me for this domain. And do I have an email from GoDaddy? Yes. So this is what I'll usually see. Your domain transfer is all set. They're preparing to move the domain. I don't need to do anything else. Now, it's not going to renew at GoDaddy because I turned that off. But I've got until November 12th, the renewal date, to cancel the transfer. It will automatically transfer within five days. Uh, but I can go ahead and approve it in advance. Uh, by logging into GoDaddy. And so let's see if I can find that. If I go to Frog Bottom Peonia, um, pending transfer out, let's see the details of this transfer. This is a transfer out. And it says that I have a transfer in progress, five to seven days. To speed up the process, you can approve the transfer. It then should complete within 15 to 30 minutes, five to 10 minutes in my experience. So I'll just check the box for Frog Bottom Paonia and click Approve Transfer. Now, I didn't necessarily have to do that. It would have transferred automatically. But now I should get a notification in my email again that that has been transferred. And I'll see it as an owned domain inside of my Cloudflare account uh, if I don't already. It looks like I do have it here already. Um, it's on active. There's an invalid date only because it hasn't been transferred completely yet. But the domain is working and it is all set. So really that is the end of this tutorial. Some domain registrars work a little bit differently than GoDaddy, but they all have the same functionality. You just kind of have to click around and find out where to do those things like get the authorization code, etc. I highly recommend using Cloudflare for domain registration and transferring domains from other providers that are more expensive into Cloudflare from now on. What I do is let my domain registration renewals come up and then before they renew, like I've shown you here, I go ahead and transfer them into Cloudflare one at a time. I hope that helps. Okay, see you next time.